Today we want to perform a speed drill that can actually work on your first step explosion. It's called the acceleration wall march. Now, the first thing we want to do is put the athlete in the right body position. Obviously, you see we're using a field goal post, but if you are using a wall, you would just have your athlete put their hands on the wall and make sure they're shoulder width apart. So I'm going to have her put her arms up out in front of her chest. We're going to make sure her arms fully extended, elbows locked out. Now, I'm going to have her back her feet up and put her body in about a 45 degree angle. Other coaching tips I'm going to give her, I want her to relax her upper back. I want her to brace her abdominal core area. I want her to activate her glutes. Big toes to the top of the shoe. And I want her heels slightly off the ground, but still pushing to the ground to give the foot really good plantar flexion for the drill. Now, what you don't want to do is allow your athletes, when they're performing this drill, to push their hips out or allow their hips to be pushed in or collapse at their arms. That can showcase that your athlete is lacking a little bit of upper body strength and this angle may be a little too aggressive for them. So I'm gonna have her walk her feet in a little bit more and we're gonna perform the drill from here. Now to get that first step explosion, we're gonna concentrate on force production as well as proper foot placement while maintaining a good body alignment. Let's do a few reps here. Hit! Still coaching and cueing, identify the knees, line up with the hip. We got a good shin angle, we got the big toe to the top of the shoe, our core is tight and our glutes are activated. A few more reps. Switch, 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 good. As you can hear, her foot is driving into the ground, hitting with the ball of her feet. So we're still getting that really good force production while maintaining that good body alignment and proper foot placement. As you see, this is a very high neural and heavy joint load exercise. So we like to keep our rep count for our athletes from anywhere between four to six reps. If you are working with more elite athletes, you can do more sets. Just give them adequate rest in between each one. This is also a really good prep day for your speed training days when you're concentrating on your acceleration. If you guys like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, place it in the comment section below. And remember, get faster, stay slow.